doing? Yes, it's very cold today. Now it's started snowing. I wonder if we'll wake up to it all being white in the morning. Now I haven't been out in the back garden for a while. I've come down to see the river. Now where has this come from? Something's collapsed and fallen in that river and they've floated down the river because the river is high. Maybe that's from the old mill or something. They're very, very rotten. But yeah, they've actually dragged those out of the river. And we can see how fast that's running over that weir today. Let me go, just go down a little bit. And the river is halfway up those archways. I've seen it almost up to the top of those archways in January last year. But at the moment, this is still fairly high. Because there's hardly anything sticking out. No little islands at the moment. But yeah, so well, that's another mystery. Somebody's had some structure that's fallen into the river. It's probably a little bit further up from, from the chateau somewhere. Yeah. I do love the sound of that water running. It's like having a waterfall in your garden. <laughs> oh, and of course it's still snowing. Wow. Shame we didn't get it Christmas Day that they promised us. Pretty soon the snowdrops will be coming up. Can you see the little shoot in there? little shoot coming up underneath the ivy and the snowdrops will be out shortly I can see some little shoots under the ivy here can you see the little shoots well I'm going to take tea out to the two Tonys see what they're up to Both out the front here, I think. And obviously not using the hop up today. Perhaps they're doing the bottom shutters. Oh, oh, the door's looking good. It's had a rub down. It's got to have another coat yet. Oh yeah, looking good. Ah, I can see a blanket on the ground. Um. And what looks like undercoat on the shutters. Where are they? Let's go and find them. Yeah, I think Tony the Paint's undercoated all these, ready to go. Trouble is, nothing's drying very quick at the moment. Because it's so cold here. Yep, looking good. Ah. Right, what's happening along here then? What's these pieces of there's pieces of blue string all around the town connected up to what I think is the telephone connection or the internet connection. And we are actually meant to be getting fiber optics. Supposed to happen in the spring. I don't know if they're still on schedule for that, but these are all over town, so I think this is what they've done. Because there's a blue string going down a pipe in the ground there, ready for that. All right. Aha! I can see a Tony. <laughs> Hey. Time better, oh good. Right. I must be psychiatric. <laughs> <laughs> now then, oh, what are you up to? Oh you're painting these doors as well. Right. What are you doing, Tony? Wow, you're getting the ivy off. Yeah. Right. Someone's done quite a lot of cementing on that, unfortunately, haven't they? Yes. So we're going to have to dig a lot of that out. Oh. 
But yeah, it's a nightmare, isn't it? It's like tree trunks. It's going right up that roof, look. Up the side there, it's gone right up the side, nearly to the top. Oh, hang on, let me look around this way. Oh, yeah. I might come out and help in a little while. I've got a few things to do first. But look at that, even man, that you can't even see that thing, whatever that is. No. We're going to knock that down. Well, yes, clearly, I'll first. Well, that's what I'm thinking. If you're going to knock it down, what's the point? <laughs> so you can see what you're dealing with. Okay. Look, it's grown right across that. I know it's not a window, but it's a, a window space, isn't it, up top there? Mm. Would you be able to get it out from the gutter and things without it wrecking it? Yeah, there is no gutter here. Oh! Oh yeah, I can see the gutter comes along there, look, and then just stops. Yeah. That's weird, isn't it? Mm. So, the person who said the middle house, that didn't own this bit, have <laughs> just sh shooted their gutter across onto this bit mm. and left it. That's a bit naughty, isn't it? Uh. Wow, oh, so th is this the ladder that was on the wall in the barn? Yes. Is that not rotten? No. Oh, well, that was lucky, wasn't it? Yes. It's very heavy, though. Very heavy, yeah. That's probably why it's not rotten, because it's probably made of oak. Mm. But yeah, this wall's got capping along it, hasn't it? Like the wall out the back to stop the rain getting in it. Yeah. Right. You see that castellation on top of that chimney up there? Yeah. It looks like it's moved. Does it look like that to you? Yeah. Well, right, it's going to have to be looked at soon, isn't it? Are you going to make us a nice weather vane tone for the top of the barn? One day. I was just looking at that bit up there. It would be nice if we could have one on the end where the river is. Mm. With the proper weather vane. That's an earthing that's an earthing Oh, is it? But it's still pretty. <laughs> so that's the stop us getting electrocuted. <laughs> hey. So. Lots of work going on. I do, I do love these pillars. They do want a bit of repair though, don't they? They've been knocked about a bit. So have we decided what we're going to use this barn for? Well, jeeps, I think. Jeeps. Jeeps. I think it would be perfect, but it's a lot of work, isn't it? There's no power, is there? No power. No water. No water. No drainage. No. Although there is a, a light bulb I can see, but that comes from the back, doesn't it? No, it's not working. It's not working, okay. It was. But I don't think, it certainly doesn't have its own meter. Which I think it would need, wouldn't it? And its own water supply. But this would be lovely. We need to get permission though. We need to go and talk to the mayor, don't we? And get him to come and have a look. Yeah. So, which will be better if you cleaned up all the ivy first right. and he can see. Right. Yeah, I think that's the plan. And are you getting rid of all this grotty mesh? Well, most of it's gone by itself, look. Not this side, yet. Barbed wire up here. Oh, was it barbed wire? Barbed it's wire. gone now. But we've still works. got some metal posts up here. That, yeah, yeah, it looks very scruffy. But uh, somebody said to me, salt and vinegar. If you chop the roots and then put a, like, a strong concoction of salt and vinegar on it. Well, I could see that that would probably kill it off. It, but I know what you're saying. And then it just comes away brittily, does it? Yeah. I'm not. Well, this is the thing, if you chop it all away at the roots, hope the theory is that it then dies off further up. But you did that over here before, didn't you? And there's a bit brown up there, but not much. You chopped it all once, didn't you? It's coming from the roots, Oh. Well, what will you do then? Get... Will you get down on the riverside once the, river, the water goes down? What, and chop it back? No. It's, it's a pain, isn't it? 
Does it come off quite easily then? It's a bit of elbow grease, but... No, we are there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but what I'm saying is you've done an awful lot. I was out here earlier and you hadn't done... Oh, wow. No, it's hard work, but it's worth it. I thought you meant where you were scraping all the Artex off of the wall in your shop, Tony. Ah. Oh, wow. We have two more sets of shutters that are blue. Hey. So, uh, are you planning on doing the others tomorrow? Or yeah, is it going out tomorrow afternoon? Oh. If you think about it, it's probably not a good thing that it comes off that easily, is it? It's not doing, it's not doing much then. <laughs> so, is it like, like render underneath it? But it's probably just a lime render, is it? No, we can see where a few holes have been filled in. See the white patches? Mm. A few holes have been filled in before. And I think it seems to stick to that a bit better. Because look, we've got some patches up there outside. Why have we got all these big round patches? Once yeah. Painted, we've got a little, a little. So what paint are we going to use? We're going to use an emotional paint. But it's got to be breathable. Oh, no, is there stone That's, under it? Yeah, there's stone over there, look. Hang on, let me go have a look. There's probably a stone, but there's another render. What, here by the door, you mean? Here? Where the stone just carries on? Is this what you're talking about? So it's probably all stone underneath. It's quite chalky though, it's like, it crumbles. Look. It's quite dusty and chalky, that's why they cover it up, I think. They've even rendered over the... They've rendered over that piece up there, yeah. All right, the whole pop's going away again for today. You look like a barrel boy, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you have to sell some fruit and veg. <laughs> right, to see if we can see if there's any anything solid underneath. I think it's going to be like it is out in the courtyard where it's just sort of built up over the years and it's just stony ground. Probably. I'm not claiming that. But yeah. <laughs> There's sort of cobbles in this barn bit. Or is that just concrete? Now this looks like stone here. Oh no, maybe not. Maybe that's just concrete. There's definitely a stone threshold. Yeah, I think maybe concrete. See, they've had power in here at some point. That's not actually working at the moment. I think it was connected across the back to the other barn. So, what are we going to do with all these concrete blocks and stuff? Is that all got to go to the tip? No. Uh, no. I think it's going to go in one of them holes. Oh, right. I suppose that would make sense, wouldn't it? A bit of hardcore. Yeah. Right. But then you've got wire mesh and things. That'll have to go to the tip, won't it? Well, I'm hoping you come across a scrap metal men. I don't know if they have scrap metal men. They must have, must have a scrap yard here somewhere, mustn't they? I'll have to try and find out and look it up and see what it's called. Anyway, don't forget your tea. Hey? Wow, nice wall though. That's yeah. going to be a lovely courtyard. Yes. Yeah. God, how many years has that been there? So, are you going to chop that tree down that's growing up out the wall over here? Yeah. Yay, I'm glad to see that grow. Why don't you go and find, see if you can find a key to that? Or is it just a key? To what? There? This? I've never had a key to that gate. I mean, it'll be one of those big old... But there's keys in the house, aren't there? One of them might be. 
We found them, didn't we, on the mantelpiece, a big batch of keys. Right, yeah, no, that's interesting. We need a key. Actually, there's two locks on this gate. Otherwise, you can't get in that bit, can you? You have tried it, I take it. I'm going to clean that gate down from that wall, yeah? This? Oh, yeah. I actually quite like the greeny colour, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's got that... It's got that betina. But, yeah, no, it'd be nice. It's a bit rotten on the bottom, though. It's definitely locked or something heavy right behind it. Yeah. Right, and Tony did get around to fixing that drain pipe, finally, and already the wall's drying out, even in this cold weather, that's good. Mm. Not really often come and look at these things. That door handle, definitely keeping the door, I'm sure I can do that up. I don't like these metal shutters. I really don't like these metal shutters. Right. And for the time being, we seem to have mislaid the key to this door, which is a real nuisance. Anyway, I'm going back. Find my key and check my post. I don't, I don't know about you, but all my babies or grandkids would have been out of escape out of there in five seconds. <laughs> but yeah, it'd have to be about two foot higher. It's quite an unusual cake stand. I believe that says the neurons. Another Napoleonic style bed, but nowhere near as nice as I want. Only asking so five. It's quite a sweet little chair. Into your eyes. Basket weave type seat. I quite like that one. This is not another one for 20 zeros, which is the same. Well, it's got different seats on it. Oh, there's 35 It looks like it's a pretty old school old woodworm. <laughs> For two, I think, but I can only see one. Obviously, needs recovering. I might be quite comfy though. Wow, what pattern on there? Oh, unusual, eh? Oh, it says. It's got a piece missing on the back of it. Then that means 25 each. Mm. Yeah, that one says 25. Oh, 
the bottom of that table. It's got a split. I don't think that's meant to. No, it needs a bit of work. This is the last time I'll. Put the deco chairs there. They're very deco. That is massive. That wouldn't fit in my car. Definitely, it's bigger than that other one, the other ones we saw. Didn't have a price. Oh. But yeah, it's beautiful. I think they've got a few irons. <laughs> I didn't see that! Oh yeah, a little workbench, it's even got a clamp. <laughs> Vice. Three euros. <laughs> well, how shiny is that? But we've got we've got a couple of trays in the bar, haven't we? What's in here? Oh, nothing. Unfortunately, nothing at all. Right. Little deco looking set with the blue flowers. This is little square saucers. Doesn't have any markings. Not what I can see anyway. That is 16 euros the lot. Water jug, three euros. Well, really nice quality jug. That's only three euros. That looks like a really nice set. Well, vinegar, tea, a <laughs> tiny little one for tea, I think we need a big one for tea, coffee, oh, I can't read that, hand painted, made in Holland, but what is, what is tobacco? Quite a nice colourful thing. Hmm. Wow. I can feel a thing coming on here. No, that's nowhere near as good quality as the one bought. That's quite striking. It's still rigid. It has no markings on it. There's two euros, right? I'm going to have that. Let's see. Let's see. Twenty-five. Let's see. It's 
Tornado Hoover. Well, I suppose it's not Hoover, is it? It's a tornado vacuum cleaner. He's taking our new sport for New Year. You should do roller skating, tennis, skiing, should I say roller blading, walking. Maybe skating A few fire backs there, that's rather nice. Some of the two guys carrying a what looks like a stag that they shot. It's quite cold here today, as you can see. You see the look of the vibes. Little, yeah, yeah, little play to set. That's what you put foot on, isn't it? Yeah, knife rests. Hmm. It's quite a nice jug. I do like a nice jug. Uh, Nothing on the bottom, but I do like them for putting flowers in. But yeah. but yeah, nothing much interesting along here. Oh, what's that blue and white one? Oh, it's got some yeah, I've been name on it. I've been deceptive. <laughs> I don't think so. But it's quite striking though, isn't it? Was it say Chambon something? That's got an that would be quite pretty with a few flowers in. There's a piggy and he's got little little things inside him. I don't think they go with him. <laughs> Copper. It's a heavy, really heavy one. I don't think it's old though. Oh. Well, I've not got it for long. No, I know. <laughs> well, I don't know, it's heavy though. It's got a bit of age to it. <laughs> Lots of cooking pots. Mm. Oh, lots of vases. I'm back to the jugs again. Look, that's sweet. I can't read that. Oh, it's upside down. It would help if I put it the right way up. No, I was the right way up the first time. Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia. 
That's quite sweet. Four euros for the whole lot. I can't read that. I can't get my glove in the picture, look at the state of it. <laughs> it's that you something L U M L France again. We saw that on the other side. Two glass doggies, look, like three euros each. And two sorts of dogs. They're all so cute. Huh? See the little glass basket? Yeah, I'm having these. I can't see what it says on there, but they are too cute not to. There's four euros for nine of them. Oh. Uh, how can I not have them? They're oh, beautiful, aren't they? Cake or something. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Tea and cake. Oh, I need a piece of paper. Merci. <laughs> I'm getting a long list now. It's almost like a Chinese look, seven euros for the whole lot. It's a coffee pot in it. Yeah. Well, they're cute. There's a lot of people in this bit, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah. PL. I think I've seen that before. But unfortunately, a lot of the gold's wearing off, but it's so cute. There's only seven euros, so you've got a coffee pot and a jug. And six little cute cups and saucers. This one's sweet, look. I want some little coffee cups because I didn't have any the other yeah. day. Um, so people went for dinner the other day and all I had was mugs. So, oh, that's that PL again. What's that name? I don't know, it's a make that I keep coming across, but it's very pretty. Sorry? Probably equipment to say. <laughs> Probably is the MS. I've seen the MS on some of them. Although not the MS. Yeah, yeah. I'm just looking at those cups, they're gorgeous. See, look at that. How unusual is that? Don't think it's any. No, it's not any great quality. It's lost a lot of its gold. But how cute. The elegant coffee pots. Look, three euros is ridiculous. I like them little ones. Oh. Probably because it's yellow. They are so cute, aren't they? Oh, you like yellow, don't yeah, you? It's your favourite colour. Oh, yeah. so much china. Oh, these are pretty. Yeah, I like aren't them. I? Oh, hey, look, was it there? Hand signed. What does it say? Can't read it, something. Definitely says France. Yeah, it does say France at the bottom. Yeah. Oh, they're cute. So it's five euros for seven of those. Although I've just picked up some little tea plates, I don't know. Teen. <laughs> Fourteen of these for six euros. Yeah. That's amazing. Who's that made? I bet it's veritables. It's always veritables. She says, I can't read it. Veritable. <laughs> I'm getting to know my porcelain. But yes, you can have 14 of those for six euros. Cocktail sticks. 
Look at a little leather tail, look. <laughs> Unfortunately, two are missing. They've all look, they've even got little yeah, doom the yeah. eyes. Kingfisher. Oh, that's a little birds around it. Two euros fifty. It's like a little sweetie bowl. Yeah, bomb bomb bar. There's just so much stuff. What have you found? No. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Can't do that. What's this then? Hello. Hello. What do you think of it so far? Buy me. Rackish. <laughs> You're getting by me. <laughs> Everyone's a comedian. <laughs> and we've just come out to the car park of the Brocant and we found this. Unfortunately, this one's not for sale. But yeah, look at the old number plate on it. It's been done up really nicely. <laughs> An old dust CV. I think that's what they call it anyway. But wow, yeah, very French. <laughs> right, they've started painting upstairs. How much better does that look? It actually looks like some real shutters because they've put a piece of timber down the middle. This is very clever because they are boarded up for the time being. But tone, both the Tonys have decided to put a piece of timber down the middle so that it looks like a closed pair of shutters and it looks so much different. Brilliant. Well, I've been told I need to come out here with my camera. Tony Paint's just come and fetched me because my Tony is bedding on one of the balls. Where he's got up on top of these posts and one of these balls was loose so it's lucky that he's found it. And now he's bedding it in with some cement because we could have lost it. See, we were told that at some point these gates were hit by a truck. And I can see from here a bit of damage where the hinges of the original gates were. And these definitely weren't the original gates. I think they've just been put up as a stopgap. Right. That's a very strange thing because when I was standing here I looked at that and thought it's not centred. So that could so easily have rolled off and either have damaged somebody or something. Right. In fact, it still could, couldn't it? <laughs> You've perched it on that corner. Yeah. I'm a bit worried now. So it's about the size of a football, isn't it? Uh, yes. Slightly bigger. Slightly bigger. That would do some damage if it fell on your toe, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. If you just bed that back on with some cement, yeah. That'll hold it. Have you got to hold it in place while it sets? Fine, yeah. Because... Yeah. I was just saying for the camera, they... Someone told us they'd been hit. Someone told us they were hit by a truck before we bought it. And that these gates had been put on temporarily. The other gates were wrecked. And there are higher up hinges on there. And it actually looks like that post has been twisted. So they do want some work. Yeah. How wide is that wall that you're climbing around on up there? Wide enough. Wide enough. <laughs> Not going to fall in the road, are you? You remind me of when you was a little boy and you had to get up on that little wall and walk along. <laughs> Has it had a, a metal piece in it or anything to hold it? Or is it just... Oh, it's got like a peg that goes in the bottom of it, yeah? yeah. Okay. A dowel, wall, sorry. Oh, I'm you, just cleaning the muck out of it. So you can put it all back together. Because these gate, there, well, these gate posts will be lovely, won't they? One of the best features that we've got. Right, I'm going to cross over this busy road and get a different angle. <laughs> Where's he gone? 
Oh. Well, it's quite wide that wall, isn't it, that you're standing on? Alright. While he's preparing that, I'm just going to have a look at the river. Yeah, still haven't got any idea where those big lumps of timber have come from. <laughs> Get a better view from here. Got a big ring on the wall here, Tone. Hmm? A big ring on the what's that for tying your horse to? Yeah. That's exactly the same as they had on those big stone feeding trough things in the stables, isn't it? <laughs> Hurry up, it's cold. <laughs> What's he going to find? A little trowel? Poor Tony keeps having to go miles to fetch things. <laughs> it's a long walk backwards and forwards, isn't it, Tony? <laughs> Need a portable toolkit. How heavy is that tone? Yeah. Yeah. Bag of cement. Wow. Pretty heavy then. Yeah. It's stone, isn't it? Yeah. Not concrete. Do not want to go in. Yeah. Yeah. Let's have another go. Sorry about the traffic noise. It's like doing your exercises, Tone. <laughs> pick it up, put it down, pick it up. <laughs> Oh, does that just fell off the bottom of that gate, Tony? I said it was a bit rotten. <laughs> well, the school bus just went past, so the school children here must have gone back to school, unlike the UK. When I mean, they're talking about closing most of them for a while. Especially where we come from, anyway, in the southeast. Does it need to go further down? No, it's doing it. Ah. Huh. Third time lucky? This is about the sixth time. Yeah. 
Is it there? It's a rigged light out here. Done? Yeah. Yeah, well done. So you're going to check the other one now, although the it looks... It looks... you already checked it, have you? Yeah. It looks straighter to me. I'll go. <laughs> Sorry, Tad. <Tana. laughs> you're off on an errand again. Yeah, so you can see the stone on this side. That would look lovely from the front time if we can get the render off. Another job done. Ow. That's all coming off now, is it? <laughs> now I've got to go in, so I've got to do a few things. I'll come back in a bit and see how Tony's getting on. He's going to take all this old metal work down on these glossy bits of mesh that have been up there and keep on with the ivy, the fight against the ivy. Would you like a cup of tea? Okay.